Good morning learners. Today we are here to have a lecture on basics of accounting. Before starting to our topic, let me introduce myself. My name is Mayur Bagarwal, Assistant Professor at Uttarakhand Open University in School of Management and Commerce. And today's topic is basics of accounting. Before starting to our topic, let us consider what are the things which are going to be considered in today's topic. First of all, we will consider the definition of accounting. Then after, we will define difference between bookkeeping and accounting. Then after, we will discuss the objectives and scopes of accounting. And then we will discuss the process of accounting. And at last, we will discuss the difference between final account, financial accounting, cost accounting and management accounting. So first of all, the definition part, accounting. Accounting is the language of business. It means that we record only those transactions which are expressed in the terms of money. Accounting is a process. Usually it means that accounting is a process of collecting, analyzing, communicating financial information to our stakeholders. Accounting record only those transactions which are expressed in the terms of money. We record only those transactions which are happens in an organization. Accounting records only those transactions which are happens in our organization. We record only past transactions as per the definition of American Institute of Certified Public Accountant has defined financial accounting as art of recording, classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money. American Institute of Certified Public Account defines or want to say that accounting records and classify and summarize the transactions which are happens in an organization. Recording happens only when that transaction has taken place in an organization. We record only those transactions which are happens in an organization and then after we classify those transactions into different forms. As in accounting, we have different forms of accounting. We classify accounting in the form of capital nature and revenue nature and then we record those or we classify that data into or summarize that data uh, so that we can get a meaningful information from that. As we have already discussed that accounting record only monetary transaction. We cannot record uh, other than monetary transaction. For example, we record purchasing of machinery. We cannot record the sentiments of the person in accounting. As you all know that what is the difference between bookkeeping and accounting? Bookkeeping deals with recording of data. But when we are talking about accounting, accounting records data which are being kept in, in a meaningful information. Bookkeeping only deals with is a narrow concept, but accounting is a broad concept. When bookkeeping ends, accounting starts. Help of example, let us understand the difference between bookkeeping and accounting. As in our Kirana shops, we all know that जैसे हम लोग सब लोग जानते हैं कि किराना शॉप्स में जो भी रिकॉर्डिंग की जाती है एक दुकानदार द्वारा तो दैट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ बुक कीपिंग बट अकाउंटिंग गो बियॉन्ड दैट बुक कीपिंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ बुक कीपिंग इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ जर्नल बट अकाउंटिंग क्लासिफाई दस दैट डेटा इनटू डिफरेंट सेगमेंट्स और पार्ट्स फर्स्ट वी डिवाइड दैट डेटा इनटू जर्नल देन लेजर देन ट्रायल बैलेंस एंड एंड लास्ट वी मेक दैट डेटा इनटू अ मीनिंगफुल इंफॉर्मेशन कॉल्ड बैलेंस शीट so in bookkeeping we does not require any special knowledge but when we are talking about accounting we need a specialized knowledge of accounting without that knowledge we cannot make accounts usually bookkeeping is a form of clerical work but it does not require any special knowledge but when we are talking about accounting accounting is a it needs a professional knowledge this is the difference between bookkeeping and accounting and net, in next slide we will discuss the objectives and scopes of accounting and our first scope is to keep a systematic record as we have already discussed that accounting is a systematic usually follow up process as in first process we record all the transactions in one place called journal and that we classify that data into different forms called ledger with that ledger we make trial balance and then we make trading account profit and loss account and at last with balance sheet so we keep a system accounting has a system as when we are talking about bookkeeping it does not have a system so usually accounting follow a systematic records by date wise the next part is ascertaining profit 
with the help of accounting we can whether our organization or our firm is in a profitable situation or not all the transaction which are happen in our previous year call financial year or calendar year we make certain profits or not so with the help of accounting help us to ascertaining that whether our organization has made profit in previous year or not with the help of accounting we can know that organization in a profitable situation or not next part to ascertaining the profit financial position of the business financial position of the business means financial position ek organization ki financial position se matlab hai ki humne kitna loan aur kitna owners capital hai there is a difference between owners capital aur borrowed capital owners capital means jo bhi jo bhi business start kar raha hai uska khud ka capital use hum kehte hain owners capital and borrowed capital matlab jo bhi humne paisa aur jo bhi capital humne udhar le rakhi hai for longer period of time more than 1 year aur for or more uh, than one year that term is called long term capital for starting that business we need capital so with the help of accounting we can know that whether our organization what is our financial position of organization whether we are taking uh, whether our business is more dependent upon borrowed capital or owners capital with the help of accounting we can know that the financial position of the organization the next part is to ascertaining the decision making accounting is the record of past transactions past transactions or jo bhi humne transactions organization mein kar rakhi hain wo kis se related hain monetary transactions hain to accounting hame help karti hai decision making mein with the help of those those records to management can take that data into a information and that information can help us in making important decisions and at last to fulfilling the compliance of law compliance of law usually in our country like india the government usually implement so many laws like gst and income tax so accounting helps us to find out those help us to fulfill those compliances of government accounting with the help of accounting we can know that whether our organization has make any profit or loss if organization have to make profit then that organization have to pay a certain amount of taxes on our profit so with the help of accounting we can came to know uh, what is our financial position and it also help us to fulfilling the government compliances next step is accounting process as we all know that accounting is the collection of data usually in accounting we collect data in a systematic format the first step is journal in journal we collect the data in a uh, date wise format then after collecting the data in journal we transfer that data into ledgers after preparing ledger is the separate form of accounts in which we record all those transactions which are related to that particular account or amounts are been recorded separately in different account after preparing ledgers we prepare trial balance trial balance usually help us to find out the uh, financial or accounting accuracies or mathematical accuracies of general and ledger with the help of trial balance we make the financial position in financial position it covers trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet in trading account the first one is our trading account trading account help us to find out the gross profit and gross loss second part is profit and loss account profit and loss account help us to find out the net profit and net loss and at last the balance sheet balance sheet help us to find out the financial position of the firm as we have discussed in our objectives of accounting it is the objective of accounting to know the financial position of the firm so the balance sheet help us to find out the financial position of the firm in one side it shows the sources of funds and other sides that called liability and other side of uh, that account is called um, assets that is called utilization of funds that's it for today's lecture thank you